March 23rd, 2016, uh, 10 to 11. I uh, did one outdoor painting today, plein air, at uh, Mesolonsky Lake. Now I'm here in Waterville, Colby Woods, and I'm going to shoot a couple minutes of this. We'll edit later. Here's the trail in. It's about 38, 40 degrees. Kind of cool. And uh, the area we'll I'm going to be painting. painting Colby Woods, Waterfall, Maine. And uh, just a little tip. If you're outdoor painting, uh, it's chilly enough. It's kind of kind of gray out today. And no sunshine. Yeah, it's 38, 40 degrees, but your feet get cold when you stand on one spot. So one little tip I heard from uh, YouTube on, what do you call it, hammocking, you know, backpacking, all that kind of stuff, is I got my snow boots on. And I took out the little felt in insert, and I took Reflectix. Look it up. Home Depot sells it a million times. People mention it on YouTube and uh, camping type things, hammocking. Uh, I took out the felt insert and traced out my footprint on some Reflectix, which is basically like bubble wrap foiled with foil on both sides and I put that in my boot and it reflects the heat back to my foot and I'm telling you it works I'm using the same palette uh, you know Mars black titanium white zinc white mixed together half and half ultramarine blue lemon yellow cadmium red medium and gambling refined linseed oil on a 8x10 panel we'll see how that does and one uh, little thing I think is nice especially if you're combining hanging out in the woods with a hammock and uh, painting is this grand trunk folding stool it actually has little points here it pops apart and folds up like maybe six inches wide by 12 inches, you know, the, whatever the depth is there. It goes in its own little pouch and carry it in your backpack. I just keep it like this, fold it up. It has a little Velcro strap that then can go around and hold everything together. And then I, when I pull the cover of my backpack over before I snap it closed, I put the stool in there and snap it down. That holds it in there. Works pretty good. A uh, another tip for the outdoor painting in winter and any time of year actually is uh, you know I got all my stuff in a little rut sack which works pretty good turpentine towels all that stuff and what I've done is I've taken a this particular backpack as a nice little handle to carry it around most backpacks have a little nylon loop so either way take a bungee cord with you and then you can wrap it around a tree and suspend your pack off the ground at waist level so you can get into it <coughs> also uh, works fine on like a well, skinny tree minutes just into wrap it a and uh, yeah, there's some a uh, little bit of good structure to it. I obviously changed a few elements to make it a painting, but uh, water's hard when it's moving. Yeah, I just kind of suggested it. I'll put a maybe touch more highlight here and there in the water, kind of uh, down in there. But uh, a little palette knife action up in here. And uh, pretty good snapshot for 40 minutes. 
just uh, kind of like an athlete, you know, they kind of uh, exercised at a gym in preparation for the big event and to hone my skills at selective editing and all that sort of thing.